<laughs> we know it ain't eight. Yeah, apparently it's like four. Yeah, and, and eight, rumors don't all have eight. 12 inches. Thank you. Yeah, no, I know. That was funny, though, what I just said. Rumors don't have 12 inches. I've never had them. You've never <laughs> had them, so what? There's a lot of things I don't have that I want. Exactly, you but like you're not always going to get it. Uh, no, but I'm this working is towards it. for the documentary. Yeah. Kaepernick. Boom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just scary. Bullshit. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? You okay? Oh, my booby! Ah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It just popped. You saw it pop. It's like, how is so hot? <laughs> Well, I'm just going to take this guy right here. The business one. Yeah, that's the business one. He's like, whoa. He's like a shark. That's what I said, too. That's my character. This is all gone. Yeah. He wants it at the corners. Because I don't know play it, direct it. Oh, yeah, not too many hats. Yeah. No so you always are shaking your head if yeah. you don't. No, it's the way I did. You go through my Facebook pictures. That Corners? You You'd rather have a mustache than nothing? That's Seven the longest years. I've had Seven since 1970. Yeah. Oh. I was in the military. Sideburns to where? Oh, oh. oh, that was driving me. I can't go that far. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's true. Did you have any mustaches? And he played my dad in the film. No, your grandpa. I found this movie called Spectre of Me and Grandpa. Still trying to finish the location. He played my dad. If you look at anybody in the set, it's the same thing. I'm sorry. He's just trying to do it. There was uh, there was something I wanted to talk to you about as far as uh, that scene. Well, not just that scene, but a couple other ones, like uh, because you got Mark and um, yes, yes, and Tim's cop scene, yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. About that. Let's see. Can you watch it with one inches? Okay. Yeah, because hers is her extra size. Yeah, yours is large. Yours is like. Yeah, it's all about this. Yeah, it's, it's true what they large. say. Bigger is better. It's large. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? No. A screen oh, no, I have kind of figured when you put that post up that that's what you're doing. No, I don't know. Cars are necessarily expensive. Is that all the toys in it? Yeah, man. But what well, what doing doing is, hey, we're both wearing black, dude, you know, but I don't have a tattoo. You know? Meow. Oh, you see this? Okay, here, just let's cut on. Cool. Oh, you seem very feisty. Very cool. Who's the director? Uh, raspberry tea. Yes, please. I have two questions. Why am I not in this? Why is Tim not in this? Everyone will be. And then why is you not in this? We're going to have a talk about that. I can play that now. We're, we're going we're to have a talk about that. Everyone will be. It's a fun yeah. series. Everybody Everyone has. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to have a talk about that. About why all of us are not in this. Oh, I know that guy. Really? Yeah. Uh, I love this. I love before anything happens. So. Uh, that's fine. Okay, okay, guys, that's great. Okay. Not my book. No. no. Let's get out yeah, of the meeting first. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no more tricks. Hear ye, hear ye. Okay, what are we going to talk start, about? Okay, we're going to start with Sherry. That's a little bit of pressure. pressure. I didn't know why it was going no to be pressure. starting at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can you, like, enlighten <laughs> me on what I was going to say? <laughs> Okay. You just like no. All right. Well, Hi. okay. We 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 kind of Jeff and I, well, Gary as well, I guess. Uh, we were kind of sitting here talking about why, why we're a group, first of all. Okay. Which is we have all these scripts, all these projects that we want to make. However, so we go to business cards. There we go. Yes. Oh yeah. oh yeah, we'll discuss the business. Cards. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we, we do need to get these um, too. Yes, we all want the same Director, producer, writer. I like that. It's too much. I'm telling you, it's too much. Actor, director, producer, writer. Too much. All right, so so go ahead, Carrie. Anyways, so okay. Go ahead. We all have ideas. We have not just ideas. We actually have completed screenplays. We have a good five we're sitting on, right? You know, so we have all these. She has a musical. Mm -hmm. um, do you sing? I don't remember. Uh, quartet. Okay. All right. So we have all these things yet. We are dividing the company and ourselves, you know, from, well, amongst, okay, other production companies are taking maybe a couple of us away on occasion, or one of us. So, so we're not, like, say even if you're doing something, but sure. we're shooting stuff, and we could really use you to be 
us assistant to the AD, you know, something, you know, second assistant. It would have been nice, you know, that type of thing on Sunday. Um, so should we be dividing the group and, and working with all these other fucking companies so much, or should we concentrate more on the screenplays we have and getting people to work for us? Can I interject on that? Yeah. Well, number one, this is what I do for a living. I don't have a second job. This is what I do for a living. This is what I depend for a paycheck. Mm -hmm. um, and you see a bunch of people all the time that basically get, for lack of a better description, to make my point, get poured out by all these other production companies to make a name for them for themselves. to use <laughs> your experience, to use your talents, to use your abilities, to use your voice, to use my house, I just want to for throw them. In. For them, and what do you get? You get credit. Big deal. An IMDb credit. Maybe. Maybe. You do. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You might get some footage that you can use in a reel. That's far and few between. Ninety-nine point nine percent of production companies in the valley won't even give you that. They'll yeah. promise it to you, and they'll never get it. Half the time, the the projects right. never even get finished. Right. Yeah. Very, very you or if they the do footage, get finished, you said you don't get the footage. Well, they yeah. don't even finish it yeah. at all. So period. Yeah. It. It's nothing but five minute shorts. Mm -hmm. I'm so sick and tired of seeing these five minute shorts come up on YouTube and on, on Facebook. It's crazy. Yeah. Why not take us as number one? Mm -hmm. I agree. Think about us as number one. All right. We're not Put saying. Put our resources to work for us instead of them. We're not saying you can't do anybody else's thing. No, we're not saying that when I went, went. It's just on, a, on occasion, yes, <coughs> because there might be a character, a fun character that you want to play. Because you know, right. you, you all, you yeah, we may not have something actors. going on amongst ourselves. Well, we might well, be in a pre-production or something, and then we've got time. Yeah. In our exactly. Exactly. It's that prioritizing. That we prioritize for good yes. production. How, how long yes. did we sit on one before we made it? A year. A year, yeah. Well, what were we doing before? We were waiting for Joe. Joe wanted I think yeah, everything Joe wanted. Oh, yeah. And then finally, I said, "Let's go. Right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it." See, and and, and unfortunately, at, we had to let Lee Bill out because he wasn't available. If, if you want variety, somebody just told me today that uh, they want variety with somebody that's not here. Um, I kind of had this little conversation with him. He said, "Well, I want variety." Well, I told him. I said, "Flat out, I said, you want variety, write something." Get out a piece of paper to pen. Variety. How many writers do we have? Here? Wait, how, we many, got, how many writers do we have at this stuff. table? Everybody at this table is a writer. Mm -hmm. There's so many different genres here, it's unbelievable. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Now you look at do we have anything to do? Here's a little list of some basics. Okay? We're doing undesirables. That's at the end of October. Gary's got a horror film in last year. That's two weeks to a month. Breakfast Killers, that's two months. Life with James, that's about a week. Julie's Musical is about a week. Sherry's got four screenplays that are two months each. That's over a year. If we just do nothing but this, that's a year. Plus we have, this, it is what it is, it and is doesn't feel. That's her. just a, a portion. Yes. We could book ourselves for the next two years, solid, no problem. Well, keep in mind, for it is what it is, I, I plan on writing some more episodes, out. but I not planning on producing anything things just yet. Yeah. What right. I want to do is I, I still want to get those those two episodes edited, and I want to get shot. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Well, yeah. Julie, mm -hmm. uh, I believe that each production, each each uh, film that we make, um, yeah. it needs to go from uh, you know writing to shooting to editing. Like it is what it is. Yeah. Still isn't edited. Two episodes. Two episodes. I know one yeah. isn't. So, so it's okay saying we have ten movies. So are we gonna shoot all those ten movies then worry about editing, or are we gonna oh, no. shoot a movie movie that's, then edit it? That's the worst way to do it in the world. Exactly. Yeah. That's what's been happening in the Shoot it, edit. Shoot it, edit. Well, we honestly, we I'm sorry. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna throw a name out here, and Malcolm, please take this out. Do not use this name. But Brian is not a DP. Brian is not an editor. He's a wannabe. Plain and simple. He's a cameraman. Yeah. He's not he's even dead. He's, he's not even dead. He's somebody that holds a camera. He's a young kid that wants to do what he wants to do and go out drinking and not worry about anything else. And he hurt this organization bad. 
very bad. Oh, and by the way, I, he's still on that good main good screw conversation. I'm going to start up another one without him starting tomorrow. Very good. He's still, yeah. So still, he's not you know, the sad thing about leave. Brian is I know his mentor, Paul Hoprich. Paul is a nuts and bolts teacher with Arcadia High School. Mm -hmm. I worked with him in the past on film festivals, blah, blah, blah. The guy could be brilliant. Yeah. He just doesn't apply himself. He can't. No, he's part of He can't he stay he's focused on right now. He's, he's lost. Yeah. That's too lost. bad because I, I'd love to use him too. Oh, See, he, he got mad at me because I took him off his DP. Yeah. His I took him off. What are you going to do though? Yeah, can't. But it was the fact of he did not make one meeting. Mm -hmm. He did not involve himself in any shot list. Yeah. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And he says, well, I'm out there trying to make a living. That's fine if it was true, mm -hmm. but he's up there playing his gay cowboy stuff up in Sedona with his buddies. Right. What he told me, and I quote, he said, I've been working at the casino nights for two years. I quit. I want to get out there with my family and friends and make up for lost time. Okay. Yeah. Then what are, you, what are you DPing this for? There's 120 pages here that needs a DP. We've got 67 plus scenes that need shot less. When are you going to get involved? I totally agree. I, I think that uh, maybe he doesn't have uh, enough experience. He's over his head. He just, he's just a kid. ended up just. You now, know, when he's when he's on, he's on. Yeah, oh, yeah he yeah. is. He can get some brilliant shots. Yeah. But I'm sorry to say, when he's off, is more than when he's on. Well, and when he's off, you're dead in the water. Yeah. Oh, case no, in point, I, I did a film with Corey Rowe called The Reckoning. <laughs> was the DP on it, mm -hmm. and we've had to reshoot almost the entire film because it's either blurry or it's moving well, that and focused. Yeah. And exactly. I mean there's there's some well, the forty eight hour challenge. You now some in contrast to that though, the stuff we shot about brothers on the second episode of it is what it is. Came out clear? Yeah. 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 But he was focused that day. I mean I See think he has the potential to be amazing. He probably well, wasn't hungover. Yeah. 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 Well, he really finds his way, yeah. you know. It, See and that's another thing too. And I, not to say that I'm the savior of everything, because I'm not, but now we have the equipment to do anything that we want. Right? You are, for all intents have, and purposes. Well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I just happen to have a bunch of equipment and I'm broke. <laughs> That's about it. Yes. You know, but I mean, we've got, now it's not, we have to depend on Brian and the other yeah. little production company wannabes to do this stuff. Now we do not have to do that. I've got seven DSLRs. I've got every kind of piece of equipment you could think of to do this stuff. And Jeff, you don't mind editing? You would edit I love editing. Oh, that's I love great. It. Because that's what it. we, you know, it's like, this has been a problem with every thing. single I just, I just we got shot. Da Vinci. <laughs> I mean, we oh, have, we have oh, seven actors. Instead of you giving me one, man, yeah. why don't I give you one? We have editors, <laughs> we have actors, we have I'm ADPs, sure we have PAs, we have everything else we have. I love it. I'm editors, 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 and I'm fast at it. I do one thing right there. You know? okay, see, that's but, thing but there again, that I, I truly well, we believe, because I'm not fast in for me. That's all that counts. I am not. I truly believe it's the editor. Okay. I truly believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm still in that learning stage, and it's come back to the meeting guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're having a, oh man, yeah. conversations all over. But that, my, my main thing is, and what we were talking about earlier is, we've got to stick to the fact that we're number one. Mm -hmm. We've got to stop giving our resources to other organizations, other people, that, and do what do what we do best. Do it for us. My ultimate goal, what I would love, is when we enter a contest, when we do something like that. Sorry is people see the list of who entered and they go, uh-oh, mm -hmm. they're up. We're done. We're, I, look at what they produce, look at what they enter, look at what they put in. Yeah. So they are thinking. We can put it in, yeah, we already paid, all right, it's going to be a waste of our money, but yeah. now, we're going to win. What are your thoughts? Okay. okay. What is everybody's thought oh, on, on a project, yeah. let's say like a project Thanks like so Desert Fever, to where they're doing it with their production company, and so are they going to do the association with Desert Fever? Yeah. Uh, okay, the web. Well, the I web. am helping right. to produce. Okay. Okay. He's producing, so, yeah. she's producing, and because we were there before this all started, yeah. and um, they want us to, so therefore, get yeah. everybody going to be on board. To, to do episode four or five. We already got the first two shot on the red camera already. Mm -hmm. Mike Butler said he's going to write three, but I think we're going to probably push that to four. When they say producer, what do they mean? 
He wanted us to take over a, 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 a episode. an entire episode. Yeah, producer. Yeah, so what is that? What does produce mean? Produce, produce mean? Direct, direct, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything well, cash, is that everything. finance it? Finance it. So we have to rent a rep? No. We can shoot it. That. No, no, no. We we can probably shoot it on what we have. Okay. Because you realize a rep at four hundred dollars a day. Uh, plus yeah. the car. Fifty thousand dollar camera, right? Yeah. yeah. It, uh, like I said, yeah. with that being said, we I'm can we can shoot. It. Uh, we pretty much have written. We just got to uh, tighten it up and thing. But everybody is on that on that on that episode. So we're going to be episode. So everybody who's on this in this company will be in the episode. And 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 the other guys as well, right? And the other guys. guys. Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what we can bring to the table. And after we're going to do the first, I think, six episodes, he's going to step back and take a look at it. And if he likes the way he sees where it, uh, all the popularity and whatnot, then he's going to make it into a feature. And that's when we have to have combine all the forces together and whatnot and make, right. make it, uh, you know, figure what the story is going to be. And get Mike Butler and his crew, and his crew, he has a very good crew as well. And he has a big time connection to the family. It, uh, the, the movie called uh, Broken Roads uh -huh. it hit, did hit the theater market, and he got some good distribution. That already, it's already on Netflix, which is great. Yeah. yeah. So our goal, my goal, is to see myself in the next book, Red Box, or something like that. With uh, one of our posts on there. And say, right. We're not going to get to that point if we keep giving our resources to other production companies. Right. We're right. not. No. We're just we're, simply not. We're not. Gonna, yeah. We're not going to do. We're not going to reach our goal. Yeah. But we'll be doing five minute shorts the rest of our lives. We're not we're right. not twenty. We don't have time to play around up in Sedona. Right. Yeah, you're right. You know, we have to we ha we really do have to get going. Get going. Right. Mm -hmm. I think we yeah. have to discuss somebody to keep up with him in our group that is not here today. What's up with, with what's up with that for one? I well, I think if we'd have had it over at Bill's house there would have been no problem That's because we would have left. And he would have been able to go to bed because he gets up. It's at three. not very far. I think, you know, I think that he, we would have been able to if we'd have done it as his house, you know. So I, I, that's what I think. I think that he's just realizing that he would be too tired if he can't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't want to. I disagree with that. I work. Mm -hmm. I work. Here's why. I yeah. talked to him today. Okay. And I kind of brought up just a little bit to break the ice. Of this. So did he? Okay. So did he just say, um, you know, like we were going to do it in his house? He said, or I have to think about. He said he has to think about. Anyone about that? Well, <coughs> to tell you the truth, variety? no, hang on, no, guys. Yeah, right? yeah, and he says, well, I want variety, hmm. and that's when I said, well, you want variety. How many writers do we have in this group? You want something new? Write it. That's yeah. why you have a meeting. Yeah. 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 Why isn't he here discussing it with us? Right, but you know, like the other. Uh, movies I've been in and you've also been, you know, like Love a la carte, you know, Tim McSpadden said he's going to do the next movie, you know, and he wants all the people that were in it this time to be in that one. And we're not going to be in it. I mean, like, I don't know, understand what you mean in terms of, like, can we not do it? You know, like, I just did finish up ADR in with Soldier Girl and then I've got another read on Sunday. I still need to... I mean, the 20 set first, I still need to shoot Viable so, companies, viable projects, that's one Got thing. it, okay. The guns of the world. Got the it. The of the world. Got it. No. Got because it. Because what are they doing? The Corey Rose. Yes. The Corey Rose. Now yeah, of course. Some of them don't get done. I get it. Okay. They never get edited, or they take that. two years to get edited. Yeah. I know you love them. Yeah. I, do. I didn't want to think that. Yeah. I know, that's why I was like, I can't wait for get here to the meeting so we can discuss this. Yeah. I just said that to him. And now he's not here yeah. and we can we have FaceTime with him? You gotta remember, has no. done these projects with Kevin Fish and those people who have already, you know, they're not the Doms or whatever no, in the world, stuff like right. that, you know. And he wants to continue to do those. And I think maybe yeah. he feels threatened that he wouldn't be able to do those. Well, then but that's, that's not what you're saying though, huh? My that's impression, not what you're saying. and I don't know him that well, but, okay, Sunday, when he walked up on set Sunday, on my set, with a script that we wrote, with lines that he was supposed to do, he walked up with two pieces of paper, front and back, stapled together, and he walked up and he goes, Jeff, 
And then I have a minute. Like Marlon Brando or something. And he says, I have some changes I want to go over with you. And he's got two full pieces of paper stapled together, handwritten, front and back, both sides. Four pages. Come on. I, I, I don't see my character doing this. Come on. Let, let's not play diva here. Yeah. Let's not do this. We had a conversation together. He said, you know, this doesn't make sense, this doesn't make sense. All right, I agree with that. Let's do this. Yep, there we go. Okay, so you did agree. On a couple things, not four pages, pages of what he brought. Yeah. Well, not I, four pages. And that's what he did was have... after the fact of our conversation. He just went and nitpicked the whole thing. But from what I've seen, from what I've heard, this is what he does. I ever since he went well through, well. ever since he went through that acting class, yeah. mm -hmm. whoever the heck that is, he thinks he's got to overact everything. Yeah. I'm a bit guilty too, though. I've done this with Tim. I've done this with Sherry. I've said I've done it with Joe. I'm yeah, like Joe. Have, can I say I? I you've always I, discussed it in advance, not. Yeah. I know. am a bit naughty that way. You know, it's just. No, that, it's not naughty. You're trying to develop your character, and that's fine. Right. Right, rewriting it. Right. Rewriting right. the script is okay. different. Yeah. And the problem is he was ad it. When you're doing cuts, when you're doing multiple camera angles, and you mm -hmm. don't do the line the same way twice, what are you going to do? You have nothing to cut back to. You have nothing to cut away to. Mm -hmm. You have nothing to cut back and forth to. Because his dialogue is totally different. You've directed. You've directed. Right. And you've directed. And I've directed. You've directed. You've directed. I've directed. You know that when you yeah. put something out there, okay, there's flex. There's a flexibility of like the character can evolve or do this or this, but when you completely rewrite that character, well, it's it deviates weird. from the yeah. yeah. Plus, it deviates from the rest of the scene. Your vision as well. Right. You know, your vision yeah. is a certain vision. But if we say you guys write a script, mm -hmm. and I think this part of the script doesn't work for me, right. do speak I up. just go ahead and do it, or do I no, say guys? Speak what, up. Okay, because if there's like advanced. a certain amount of offending and then a certain amount of trying to make it better for so we get a better product and right. it's like we don't want anyone to get butt hurt however yeah. you know so just went about it the wrong way is what we're saying and it was character. too much yeah. it was just too much was when, when, when we were discussing it is what it is you were talking to me a week in advance i know i, know, I was saying that. i was changing and, that was and i know you've done that with joe too you know I am it, that is the way you're supposed to do it. There's the correct way to do it, and then yeah. there's the area way to do it. I yeah. could say. I'm not going to change your role to fit me, to make me look tougher. Yeah. Well, I'm going to act your role well, exactly the way you want. In it. his defense, he did bring up the fact that he came in late in right. this role. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of dialogue. It's a heavy role. Mm -hmm. He liked it because. There was some serious acting that he could do. Yeah. He's got to start out as a doctor, yeah. Chrissy, Mr. Clean Cut, yeah. and then he ends up being a total wild man. Right? Yeah. So there's a night and day for him. Yeah. He really liked that. So in his defense, he did bring up the fact that there's a lot of dialogue here yeah. that I just can't learn. It's not right. flowing right for me. Right. Yeah. So he wanted to kind of change that around. Great. Develop that character. <laughs> yeah. But keep the basic premise of the storyline. But he's there pushing it too, because I know that when we he were reading, yeah, yeah, when we were yeah, reading well, over at his house when we did the the script read mm -hmm. of the and and by the way, the reason you went there is just because it was a script read and it wasn't anything to do with seven. Yeah, mommy, that's cool. No, that's not right. I was like, where was Pat? And they went like, well, he's not. This. I was like, no, yeah. you don't you understand. Don't feel bad. I am but very upset. Me, so. yeah, yeah, I'm very, oh, very I mean, upset. I, had, I, I wanted to be there. I actually talked about it right away. I didn't know about it. Yeah. So they were all there, hammering yeah. on the script and calling me going, yeah. we're changing this stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's that must have been upsetting to you, right? right? That must be because, you know, the reason <laughs> we were doing that is because we did have a long conversation. And I know that we was saying, instead of these, this whole paragraph, can I say this in one line? And I know that's, he's a minimalist when it comes mm. to, yeah. he's all about Facial. the way you look and, yeah. you know, rather yeah. than like Do lots and lots of wordy dialogue. You know, that's why we do a table read. Yeah. Because then you hear it out loud and go, ooh, that didn't work. Yeah. Or that did work. You know, that's why you do the table read. See, and, we have to in my defense, the artist, you know, I the had words with him about the table read. Because right from room. the get-go, he started changing the lines at the table read. Mm -hmm. And I said, what is a table read for? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I said, a table read is for to see if these lines work, to see if this dialogue flows together. 
I said, how do I know if we're close together if you don't follow the, follow the dial? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But you know, as a I director, just hurt my hand. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, he's a strong guy. Uh, but you know, he's a director also. Mm -hmm. So, and he's also a writer. And, and so he won he, the Jerome Film Festival. But for his show, okay, so as so. such, you would think that he would understand. Yeah. That a read through mm -hmm. is exactly for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Read it. Hear how it's it just flows, a simple fact of creative mind director working together. Yeah. That's what you get. A speech impediment. But some things just don't work very good for me, so I, I would change the line just to make it flow back for right. me. But I'm not going to go off. Be... But yeah, you're right. There's some Because it's hard to say a word. Mm -hmm. There's a trigger so, word in there that, yeah. that might throw you off. But, Correct. And That's why I, I will change the trigger word. Lines too. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is exactly what I mean by that. All yeah. right. Yeah. Then let's find another word for you to use. Exactly. Yeah. Great. And I'm the same way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, can you imagine writing an entire script, being proud of it, throw it out there, and then having your lead actor go, yeah, this isn't working. I'm going to rewrite this. This happens in Hollywood, you know. But that's why they end up the directors. That's why they don't want the writers in on the yeah. product. Yeah, and, and, and that's why they don't shoot. want the actor to have that much power because that's what ends up happening. And it ends up always being a bad movie. You notice that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that happens? Yeah. Oh, here it is. So we're allowed to do things that, you know, because this, this guy that, you know, on the 21st, and I apologize for not being able to be there then. I, I've been working on this for two years and he's finally going to get some, you know, LA. He's got a couple of LA actors involved. He's finally going to get some, uh, you know, money and, you know, that kind of stuff. Obviously, we're already grandfathered in, but anything else. If it's gonna be like, oh, we don't, because we have to, like, I, I, I'm still like, oh, it's two years I've been doing this, been going back and forth, you know, when is this gonna happen? So sometimes we have to realize ourselves that this is more important, our own little production company. If that, we have to feel our way, that's really not gonna work. I'm not gonna dedicate my time to that. Right. This is what I should be doing. So that's what we're trying to say. Well, projects about your statue dad, right. and, and, and the story of your we just have to come go with the flow with our with our stuff that we have here going right now, yeah. especially with an undesirable world. Yeah. You, you already kicked it off. Exactly. We're ready to rock and roll with it. And yeah. after that, I think we had to put our put our put our baskets for the breakfast killing. We're going to get the money. I I, I know pretty wealthy folks over in California. I'm hoping that they will put the money into it. So, uh, yeah, so there's there's this documentary <laughs> guy here in uh, Phoenix. And I bet you anything we could probably talk him into putting a bunch of money into it. Okay. Mm -hmm, that's nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah this guy Malcolm, yeah. you know him? Yeah, I've heard him. Yeah, Malcolm. Yeah, Malcolm. Malcolm. Yeah, Malcolm. Malcolm. What's his name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's, oh, hi, Malcolm. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Malcolm! <laughs> this is the first of the trilogy. This is the one where we put out there to get money mm -hmm. to do the other two. All right. Because I'll be damned if I if I film a, a feature without paying people. Not going to do it. Yeah. Exactly. Not going to do it. No. And if, if I can't make money on it, or if I can't raise money, it's just going to sit there. Why would you say that? Hmm? Why would you say that? Well, just because it's, just, it's 30 days of shooting. Yeah. And I really, want, really, really want Kirk Cameron to be my, my lead. Oh, yeah. Kirk Cameron. Yeah. Who's that? It, he's into the inspiration. Who's that? Oh, well, yeah. Kirk Cameron? Kirk Cameron? Kirk Cameron? Oh From Family Ties? Are you serious? You don't know who that is? Kirk Cameron? Yeah. Yeah. You ever seen I am a fan, though. Is he fire an fire old proof? person? You ever seen Fire? Yeah. It's not See, really. That's, 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 that just reiterates more of, of what we're saying. We've got to focus on us. Mm -hmm. Put us first. And not these other little production companies that take our resources, take our talent, take our time, and basically bend us over and don't kiss us mm -hmm. when they're done. When, when someone in the don't group thinks that, yeah, thank you. Yeah. You know? when someone in the group thinks that we're not good enough, that's not good. We need yeah. to then, all right, whatever level you think we need to be, you know, to get to, then help us get there. Well, uh, I've worked with some amazing people. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are right here. Mm -hmm. I would throw you guys against any actor out there. Your name? Mm -hmm. To say that, Did I, no. I thought he was gonna say it. No, I'm serious, I'm, I'm being dead. Turn the serious. camera off, we'll I'm see amazed what with you guys. 
I posted on somebody's yeah, we go way back, way back too. Huh? We go pretty far back. Yeah, yeah we do. Five, six years. You know, I've, I've worked with almost everybody in the, in the state. And I think some of the best actors are sitting right here. Well, thank you. Not you, but everyone else. <laughs> I was going to say. Gee, you're wrong. I got interested in filmmaking quite a while ago. I've always been an avid photographer, things like that. And then when these DSLRs started coming out, it made it a lot more accessible. And, you know, I've always said that if I ever had the chance, I was going to do it and just go for it. So I just started gathering up equipment, uh, reading everything I could. I've never been to formal school, never had any formal training. Uh, kind of flew by the seat of my pants there for a while. Did a lot of product videos, a lot of trial and error, taught myself editing, went through all the editing software, couldn't really work them well, then got hooked up with some local people here, and they gave me some really good tips, uh, really good tricks to the trick of the trade. And it's, it's just been a passion of mine for probably, I've been doing this now for five, six years. It's never been my goal to constantly do uh, industrial type videos, yeah. product videos, things like that. Those basically just paid the bills and uh, gave me the opportunity to gather the equipment that I needed. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do, uh, it started out, I, I wanted to do shorts. Then I started looking at the shorts saying, well, you could take that short and take that 10, 15 pages and really expand it and do a feature. Why do a short if you're not if you can't do a feature with it? You know what? To me, it's yeah, shorts are fun and shorts are great, but they never go anywhere. You know, they're they're on YouTube all the time. This weekend we're doing um, some scenes that are pretty pivotal. It's oh, back in the '70s. We're doing the '70s murder scenes. Then we're doing a fight scene that involves. Gary, uh, playing John Walgreen, and another actor by the name of J.J. Beasley. This is gonna be an, an unreal scene. Gary is a stunt guy, he loves doing stunts. When I first met Gary, the first thing he showed me on his phone was a stunt where he's running through this doorway and the guy just goes like this, kind of hit him in the face, and he just, like, he knocked him right out his feet from underneath him and hit, bam. No pads, no nothing. And I looked at him, I said, are you for real? Really? That was you. And I looked, that was me. But J.J. Beasley is a, a champion kickboxer and martial arts expert. And he's also a stuntman. So these two have been going at it on Facebook. You know, bring your best, bring your best kind of thing. And it's going to be, it's going to be quite an experience. We're going to have four cameras set up static to get the different angles. We're also going to have a camera uh, hand handheld to get some movement, get some action, get some close-ups, but I think I'm going to have to have a, a new first aid kit for this one. This is one of the guys from the 70s scene. He plays one of the, the 70s New York detectives. How you doing, huh? Yeah, how you doing, huh? Forget about it. But there again, this is, you know, this is the kind of talent we have here in Arizona. That's why I've said since day one, this is an all Arizona film, written, produced, cast, edited, post, locations, everything, right here in the Valley of the Sun, 100%. And I've taken a lot of flack for this because I am saying, and I challenge anybody out there to prove me wrong, this is the first one in many, many years that has happened like this here. You look at the other productions that are out there, I'm not saying that, that they're bad, I'm not saying that they're any less or anything, but you look at them, somewhere down the line, somebody's out of state doing something. Whether it's a buddy is doing some editing, somebody writes the music, somebody does the titling, somebody does the credits, they bring in somebody from California to act, they bring in somebody from New Mexico to act, something. Something somewhere. None of that's going to happen here. Everything is Arizona. And we're, we're pretty proud of this. This is a story that's been in my head for about two and a half years now. Uh, just running things around, watching films, not being satisfied with what's out there. Uh, and my experience in law enforcement and uh, having medical background in my family and things like that. It just, and loving 
horror type genre, uh, mysteries, you know, things like this, criminal suspense, that kind of stuff. It's, it's always been an interest of mine. So I just started developing the story. It's been up in my head. Finally got it down on paper, uh, cast it, and then said, this isn't going to work. This so-called script that I have isn't going to work. It's because of these guys. The talent, I'm, I'm, not, and I'm not being uh, any kind of, no BS. The people that walked through the door when we had our casting call blew us all away. Literally blew us away. The writing that I did on it initially was not sufficient. It was not sufficient at all. So we came together, we rewrote it, and here we are. It's taken on a life of our own. Our first table read, we had 50, 50, 54, or 51 or 54 people right here in this room. It was amazing. Nobody said it would happen. That we'd never get everybody together in one place. Well, guess what? We did. And we're doing it. Uh, it's something that everybody, uh, it, it's, it's a collective effort. It really is. I couldn't do it without this cast that I have in the crew. There's no possible way. No. So, yeah, I'll take credit for the, the basic storyline and the, the premise behind the story. But these, gotta, these guys got to take credit for the, the film itself. They have to. You know, it's always been my goal to, you know, look at that DVD and say, I did this. You know, this is mine. I did this. And it's, you know, here we are now. This little card right here, that's what's paying for it. <laughs> uh, you know, it does not take a lot of money to make a film. Don't let anybody tell you that. That's a bunch of bunk. All you have to do is be uh, very uh, true to it, have a good plan, be straight with people, and it will fall all into place. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable the support that I've got with this since day one. The people that have just said, you know what, yeah, we like this, yes, yes, we like this. I mean, right now, I've got just shy of 100 cast and crew that are volunteering their time to do this. They're not getting paid one penny. There's a couple people in the mix that, yes, they, they have to be paid because they're critical, critical roles. If they're not set, then it, it won't work right. But other than that, nobody's getting paid and I'm, I'm financing it. But now, if you would like to donate, yeah, these, these Kickstarter campaigns and Indiegogo and all that, they're all well and good. But, you know, in, in the economy right now today, I'm a firm believer that, you know, yeah, there are a couple little tax deductions that you can take. Arizona doesn't have the tax credit. That's a big problem. Uh, that's something that this movie is going to address when we're done with it. Uh, one of my goals with this is to, to approach the legislature and show them this and say, now, look at the money that you're missing. Mm -hmm. Look at the money that you're missing out on. You could bring all of this into the state. We've got the capability here to warrant it. Why aren't you doing this? Uh, that's why this one, the mindset behind this is, this is turned into a trilogy. Uh, this is the middle movie of three. Then we'll do a sequel and a prequel. This is the one that we're going to finish. We're going to complete. Then we're going to put it out there to get financing for the other two. We're going to show them what we can do. Now, if we get financing, we can do this only better. 